Hey guys, it's Erica from Brains of Beauty and today I'm bringing you my birch box and Ipsy for September. Typically I would like to show you guys my birch box the second it gets it, but the last few months I haven't been showing off my Ipsy because it's been getting to me so late ever since we moved. I don't know if it's because we're in a new development and it's just like impossible to get mail here, but everything has been coming really late. So this time I'm actually going to show you my Ipsy bag because I haven't shown it in a few months and I'm going to do it in comparison to my birch box. Since many of you guys have probably already seen a bunch of the Ipsy bags, I figured filming it alone was not going to be as useful to you guys but seeing it next to a completely different subscription is probably a better way to go especially since the birch boxes typically come with different boxes meaning you know there could be five girls out there with five completely different boxes no two products alike which is what i like about birch box it truly is a surprise and you really do get different things like i know chica Chu did her video and her and i got like four out of five different products so I'm really excited to show this off to you guys and to start off we'll do birch box since this one came first. So for this month's birch box it came with a card like this. It says phenomenal, magical, adventurous, creative, smart cookie birch box. And then inside it says heritage, a bunch of other goodies about September. And then on the back shows the products that I received in my box. Typically we will get four to five products and then an extra. It looks like this month there is no extra. We just get the five items. The first product in my box is this Surge Normant Meta Luxe Hairspray with UV protection. It's a really large sample. It's 2.0 ounces. The next product I got in here is a BCBG Bone... No. BCBG, yeah. Max Azria Bone Genre Perfume. Oof. And I'm going to be honest, I'm not a fan of the smell. Really, I'm not a huge fan of these perfume samples anyway. There's only been one perfume sample that I've ever like loved so much that I bought it. And that was my philosophy in love. And I actually got that in an Ipsy bag a long, long, long time ago. But I'm typically not a fan of these. So this is probably going to be the, <laughs> the worst thing in this box for me this month. The next item is probably going to be my favorite item and it is this Ico London Black Magic Mascara. It's so crazy because when I first saw it I thought this was going to be a primer or something but this is a drama and curl mascara and it actually is a mascara wand inside a squeeze bottle which is pretty awesome and it's got like a curved brush head and I assume that is supposed to promote the curl part of this and so I'm really excited to try this out as I have been really big into trying out new mascaras lately and I need a mascara that can help my lashes curl. As you guys know, I have like super straight crazy Asian lashes. And then the next thing in the box is this little blue pouch. An all-in-one moisturizer. Day and night moisturizer, eye cream, toner, cosmetic primer for all skins. That's pretty, that's, that's saying a lot. It sounds like there's a lot of different things. Here's a cool part about this sample, it's resealable. It's actually got a little door that you can open here and then it's got the product, oh, and the product spewing out. And it is a mint color. It's not overly thick, it's pretty light. Actually, it's very light, very moisturizing, really smooth. A little definitely goes a long way. And it smells good, it reminds me of a spa. It's a light scent. I almost said eucalyptus or aloe or something spa-like. I'm terrible at describing scents. I didn't even bother to describe this scent to you because I don't know how to describe it. I would consider this musky, but that's probably not a good descriptor, so I'm not even going to pretend to know. <laughs> and then the last product is this Ruffian Nail Lacquer. It is in Fox Hunt. It is a very orange, like red-orange shade. I don't know if I would like this color, but... I like the formula. It's very thick. It's not super viscous, which usually means it's a forgiving polish. Um, I don't know if it streaks until I try, but it seems like a good formula just from checking it out. I love coral and I love bright colors, but I'm not really like an orange fan. By the way, if you're wondering where this super bright vibrant top is, it's actually an express top. I showed it in my last express haul, so if you guys haven't seen that, make sure to check down below. I'll make sure to link it in the down bar if you guys want to see what other awesome things I got from that haul, but I absolutely love it. I have to show it to you because I did get this in the haul. It's super comfy. Yes, it's not ironed. 
that's okay. I wear wrinkled clothes. It is what it is. <laughs> but that is it for my birch box. This is probably one of the more disappointing birch boxes. My last few birch boxes have been absolutely amazing. Like I have loved the stuff that I've gotten from it. This one really didn't have a lot of things that I would be interested in. I mean, I'm definitely going to look forward to trying out the mascara. So if you guys want to see a review, let me know. And I am definitely looking forward to this moisturizer. It smells good and it promises a lot of things. So I'm definitely going to have to try this guy out. But the perfume, the hairspray, and the color of the snail polish, not really my cup of tea. So this box is kind of a fail for me. Okay, so first of all, this month's Ipsy comes in this really pretty blue nylon lace-like patterned bag. It's got like butterflies and little lacy-like flowery patterns on it. And even the zipper's kind of cool. It's like round in shape and it's solid. They're, they're like stepping up their bag game. It's pretty awesome. Um, I'm gonna be honest before I get into this. The last few Ipsy bags I haven't liked. So I guess it wasn't a big deal that I didn't film it because I wasn't overly impressed with them. But I gotta tell you, I'm pretty excited about this bag. The first thing in the bag is this Starlux pencil. This is an eye pencil. It is in obsidian. It is a black shade, and it looks like that. It's really creamy, and it's a smudgy formula. So it's definitely a smudgy eyeliner pencil if you guys want like a smudgy eye look. This is definitely awesome for that. Oh, and I forgot to mention, there are cards in the bag. This is the card for this month. It says classic. I have no idea what that says. Oh, beauty. I thought it said primal or something. I'm like, what the heck does that say? And then the back has the products that are potentially in your bag. So Ipsy is starting to get to where birch boxes where they're trying to add variety to their bags. So not everybody gets the same thing. So I'm kind of liking that Ipsy has like changed the way they're doing business. But I had to show you that. And of course it did come with a card from M Cosmetics. It does have a sample of the Career Life palette. So this is what the Career Life palette would look like if you were to actually purchase it. And then on the bottom gives you a small little quadrant of it down here and I believe this is look four so it would have been out of this quadrant so it does have a little sample so that's really cute that she provided that and then on the back of the card or the bottom half when you fold it up is a little um, a key on how to read your life palette pretty much it looks cool a lot of people have had some really good reviews about it so I might try it out I don't know it seems a little pricey for me and you guys know I'm a drugstore girl so we'll see Okay, back to the products. The next product is the It's So Big Volumizing Mascara. This actually has an interesting wand shape. The formula we'll see about because every time I pull the wand out, it's kind of stringy, like string cheese, like melting cheese on a pizza. So I don't know if I want that texture on my lashes, but the brush looks really awesome. I love this like curved brush shape. I'm, I don't have any mascaras with that shape, so that seems really interesting. I am hesitant though because last month I got the Pixi Lash Boosting Mascara and this thing was a nightmare. I hated it. This scratched my eye. Well, it didn't actually scratch my eye, but the mascara mm. clumped and it was like flaking off and the flakes fell into my eye and I scratched my eye. And so if you guys watch my vlog or follow my Facebook, you guys saw that mm. I had a nightmare of the time. The vlog isn't up yet, but when you see it, you'll know why. It, this thing scratched the heck out of my eye. I didn't realize what it was until a few days later when I'm like, oh, I know what got in my eye, this stupid mascara. So this is going in the trash. And so I get a little hesitant about the stuff that comes in the Ipsy bags. Anyway, I'm off topic again. The next two products are the Full Repair John Frieda Full Body Shampoo and Conditioner. I am so excited about this because I've always wanted to try the John Frieda Shampoo and Conditioners, but they're pretty expensive. And so I'm, I'm super excited to try this. And this is um, Full Body Weightless Repair to Restore Full Style, which I totally need. Look at this. This is flat. Asian hair for you. I need I need body. So we will have to try this out. I'm excited about this guy. And then the last product in my Ipsy bag I'm excited about as well because it is a NYX eyeshadow. I was kind of hoping I was going to get the Butter London nail polish because I do nails. But I am all for this too. This is awesome. It is a super awesome deep plum color. On camera it doesn't look that deep. In person it looks super dark. 
Um, this color is in Morocco and it is uber shimmery pigmented purple. Can you see that? It's shimmery in person. You guys probably can't tell. Like in the container, it doesn't look shimmery, but when I swatch it, you can definitely see shimmers. So really gorgeous. I'm excited about this. I am looking forward to this. Overall for September, I think Ipsy went out. For the last two months, Birchbox went out. Unfortunately, since I didn't post my Ipsy, you guys didn't see what I got. Um, and honestly, I don't remember what I got because I kind of dumped the samples out, said I don't really like it, and I threw it in a pile. So it's mixed in with a bunch of other things right now. Yeah, that is it between my Birchbox and Ipsy. As far as what I like, I personally, if I had to pick one over the other, I probably would stick with Birchbox. And the only reason why I would do that is because Birchbox has an amazing point system. I know Ipsy is starting to get to a point system, and I know Ipsy gives more makeup products than Birchbox does. So, I mean, if I really want to go on the makeup side, I would get the Ipsy, but if I want points, which I love points and I love getting free stuff, I'm going to go with Birchbox because they're both $10 a month, but the $10 a month gets you so many points that you can get free stuff. I mean, my Stila and the Light palette is $40. I got that for free from Birchbox. I got my very first Deborah Lippmann nail polish for free from Birchbox and I got some Color Club nail polishes for free from Birchbox and that's what I love about their point system. The one with Ipsy, it's kind of new right now. If you earn certain points you get like an extra item in your Ipsy bag but you don't get to choose it. With the Birchbox system those points you can pick stuff out of their shopping network, shopping section, and I love that you get to choose where your points go. So ultimately, I would have to go with Birchbox just because of the point system, but if we're talking this specific month, Ipsy definitely won out on the products. So let me know at the down bar if you guys enjoyed me doing this comparison video. As you could see, I could not help but jump back and forth between the subscriptions, so that would be expected for videos in the future, but if you guys want to see like a more separated video of just Birchbox or just Ipsy, let me know down below. Otherwise, I'll continue doing these combined videos, and that is it. If you guys liked it, make sure to thumbs up. Also, make sure to comment on what you like better as far as like the way I do business with these subscription boxes and also let me know if you want to see any reviews or first impressions on any of these products or a tutorial or something and make sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed and that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Erica from Brains to Beauty. Hey guys, so um, long story short, it's 9 o'clock, my empty gas light is on and it's Monday! Uh, yesterday, I was supposed to edit, we were supposed to change out the furniture, we were supposed to do a lot of things. Instead, um, I swept, I did the whitening lightning, and I was gonna mop. I went to go take a quick like 30 minute nap.